Hey guys, this is Jay. Today we are going to see how to create animated wedding invitation for Instagram story in Photoshop. Before getting started, you can download the project file. Link in the description. With the project file, it will be much easier for you to follow this tutorial. So download the project file, watch this video completely. If you find this video helpful, then subscribe to our channel. Fine, let's get started. First, we are going to create a new canvas in Photoshop. I'll keep the size as standard Instagram sto sorry, story size 1080 by 1920. Resolution 72. Click OK. So our canvas is ready. Next, I'm going to create a duplicate copy of the default background layer by using keyboard shortcut Ctrl J. I'll delete the default one. I'll name this as 1. So next, we are going to bring in our image. For that, go to the folder you downloaded, open the image inside Photoshop. Of course, you can use your image. I'll drag and drop the image inside our canvas. Now I'm going to resize the image by enabling free transform tool Ctrl T. By holding shift key, I'm going to resize the image. Fine, I'll settle this one. Okay, so our image is ready. I'll name this as 2. Next, we are going to add border designs. For that, go to the folder you downloaded. There you'll see border design. Open the file inside Photoshop. Drag and drop it inside our canvas. I'll place it at the top. Okay, next I'm going to create a duplicate copy. Control J, keyboard shortcut. By enabling free transform tool, Control T, right click. Click flip vertical. Now I'm going to place it at the bottom. Next, we are going to name the layers. I'll name this one as 3 and this one as 4. Okay. Next, we are going to create text content. For that, create a layer. Pick the text tool. The font I'm using is called Sunshine Free Font. I'll give the link in the description. If you want, you can download it. Okay. Now I'm going to create a Create our text content. By using keyboard shortcut Ctrl G, I'm going to create a duplicate copy and this one as bits. So now our text, text content is ready. Next, by holding Shift key, I'm going to select all the text layers we created right click and convert it as smart object and i'll name this as layer 5 okay so we are done with the design part next let's go to windows click timeline here select create video timeline and give a click now click this icon and zoom out and increase the timeline size to 10 seconds okay next i'm going to select the layer 2 place it at 0.5 seconds i'm going to use this player as a reference and place it at 2.5 seconds and i'm going to increase the timeline to 10 seconds next we're going to add effect for that click this icon drag and drop the fade effect i'll increase the fade effect sorry fade effect a little bit okay Next, we are going to animate our border designs. For that, place the layer 3 at 2 seconds. I'll use the playhead as reference and I'll place it at 2 seconds. Increase the timeline to 10 seconds. Okay. Next, we are going to create a end keyframe. For that, place the playhead at 2.5 seconds. Click this arrow. Sorry, I forgot to mention this. We need to convert the layer 3 and 4 as smart object. Not a problem. Now right click and convert it as smart object. Okay. So now click this arrow. Now you'll see a transform option. Now click this stopwatch. Now we created the end keyframe. Now place the playhead 
at two seconds now we are going to create a starting I mean start cre starting keyframe now zoom out i'm going to select the layer 3 enable free transform tool control t by holding shift key i'm going to move the design out of the canvas and hit enter now we created our starting keyframe we are going to repeat the very same step for the layer 4 move the layer 4 to paste it at the 2 seconds increase the timeline to 10 seconds place the playhead at 2.5 seconds click this arrow click the stopwatch our end keyframe is created now going now we are going to create the starting keyframe now select the layer 4 hit ctrl t by holding shift key move the design out of the canvas hit enter now we created our starting keyframe so now if you hit the play button you'll know what kind of animation we're going to get fine next we're going to add animation effect to our text content now move the text content and place it at 3.5 seconds increase the timeline to 10 seconds okay now we are going to create the end keyframe now i'll go with the 4 seconds click this arrow click the transform icon our end keyframe is created now place it at 3 seconds select layer 5 hit ctrl t by holding shift key move the text out of the canvas now hit enter so our starting keyframe is created now hit the play button Now we are done with the animation part, next we are going to add audio. For that go to the audio layer, click the arrow, select add audio. You will see a 10 second audio file inside the folder you downloaded. Select the audio file, it will be automatically placed inside the audio track. Now our video is ready, now all you got to do is export the file. For that go to file, export, click render video give name to the file i'll name it as wedding select the folder you want to save the file select the format and click render so that's it guys i hope this video is useful to you if you like this video hit the like button for more photoshop tutorials subscribe to our channel thanks for watching take care